Hello everyone. So today we've got one of these Razer Mamba wireless and sometimes these mice have some issues where the buttons will sometimes register as like several or no clicks or something like that. It can make uh, no, precise clicking a pain, it can make clicking and dragging a pain. Um, they've got some issues with them, but uh, there's a pretty easy fix for it. You're going to need to go out and get a Torx T6. If you can see one of these at your local hardware store or something, I got this whole uh, rack of bits for, I don't know, probably less than like 10 bucks. Not a big deal. Um, you also might need some sort of like exacto knife or something that can kind of get in here and pry up some material because that can be a pain. You're going to need uh, some electrical tape, like what I have here. Um, this is just my choice. You could probably use other tapes. Uh, masking tape comes to mind. Uh, maybe duct tape. Uh, you might need a multi-tool. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have. Um, I like using the can opener down here for kind of a similar purpose of prying things up. Basically, we're going to need to start by disassembling the mouse. You've got two screws here, which go to your mouse button. Pull those out and set them aside. Nice and easy. And then a little bit more tricky to get into. I've already pried this open several times. You might have to struggle a little bit getting this flap up. Um, and then you can also come in here and try to lift up this here. Secured by some glue. Uh, there's the last screw. We just need to take that out of here. Nice and easy. These are all identical screws. Um, now that we've done that, we can just come in here. See the shell is already starting to come apart. It's a little tricky getting in here in the front, and this is going to be tough to seal up too once we're done. There we go. Now, um, you could just connect to this if you need to. Uh, I personally don't. It's really easy. You would just come in here and push together these like tabs and like lift this up now nice and gentle. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. You can do everything you need to do like this. These little uh, pillars are what connect your mouse buttons to these switches. These switches are actually what uh, trigger your mouse inputs. So, um, the issue that I notice, and that you might not even be able to see this on camera, is that um, it looks like over time the force of the clicking kind of like wears in on these. Now, I've already went and covered these up with um, a bit of a electrical tape. I've already sort of fixed my mouse more or less, but you can see how these kind of cause like these big indents um, in here. I imagine that's the source of the problem. I imagine it's just the material getting kind of eroded over time. Uh, I don't know, but it's a nice easy fix. You're just going to take your like electrical tape or whatever you got and then you're going to just make some nice neat little squares and then cover up those little prongs that connect to your mouse button. And uh, from my experience, this fixes most of the issues. 
uh, assuming that you calibrate the mouse buttons right after we're done, which I'll show you in a second. So, you know, go ahead, put your tape on there. It's time to seal it back up. This is a little difficult. Uh, as you can might be, maybe see here, we got some of these like little ledges here on the front and bottom of the mouse and some alcoves that those fit into on the top of the mouse. Um, the back end goes on really easy, but as you can see, we still have this uh, pretty substantial gap in the front here, just uh, all around, and uh, you won't be able to click the mouse buttons with it like this. So we're going to have to kind of manhandle it a little bit. I don't like putting a lot of pressure on the mouse buttons themselves. That fixed our left mouse button. And I try to kind of pinch it forward a little bit. This requires a little bit of finesse. Try not to break your mouse when you do this. You could be at this for a few minutes. Whenever I first took this apart, it took me more or less an evening to put this back together because I didn't want to risk breaking it very well. Um, again, it's kind of hard to get it, that in there. There it goes. Yep. Both buttons clicking nice and easy. Not bad. Um, whenever you're doing this, I would probably suggest trying to pull backwards this way on the mouse as you try to push it down in there. I think it just makes it work a bit easier. Um, then we can come back in here and do the back screw first because I have to talk about the front screws a little bit. Just gonna open up that hole, take your screw, screw it down nice and tight. If the magnetic bit on this tool didn't screw me over. While you have the shell open, you might also consider taking um, a little bit of like a uh, you know, some sort of like uh, compressed gas air thing that they use for keyboards, whatever. These things are you know, always kind of handy. You can, if you have pets or something, it's a good call to get those pet hairs and stuff out of your mouse, I imagine. Obviously you should have done that before I sealed this mouse back up. That screws in. And uh, the, the glue is still sticky. I, I've opened up this like, little flap a few times. Uh, you just kind of need to smooth it out. And drop these front screws back in. Uh, it's an interesting thing to note that now that you've added that tape in there, Um, you might not need or want your screws tightened all the way in. And so I've tightened my screws all the way in. We'll see what happens. Still got right click. Left click is dead. We do not have any left click at all. Um, this is because we tightened the screw too tightly in here. So we're going to come back to our left click screw. And we're just going to ease it up. Maybe not that much, just a little bit. Still dead. Still 
Enter. That feels pretty good, but we might want it even a little bit looser. Something like that. And our mouse buttons are working fine again. This pad will lose a bit of stickiness. I don't think it's the end of the world. It'll still glide fine. Um, and yeah, hopefully that fixes any sort of double-clicking issue that you're having, or uh, you know, click-and-drag issues.